there are haters, dude. There are haters everywhere. You post a, a blog or a YouTube video and you open up the comments, you're going to have haters. You put anybody together like a school environment, you're going to have rumors spread about other people. And I wish it wasn't that way. I wish we could have a culture of kindness. I wish we could have bully-free zones. And we should all move towards that direction. But for that to actually like, be accomplished, to create utopia or heaven on earth, it is a pipe dream. We can get way better, but still there will always be haters because people who hurt other people are typically hurting. And there's a lot of hurting people. But I'm going to tell you two things to overcome all the worst of obstacles. Two ways to rise above the hatred in your life. The first thing I want you to remember is to be calm. The second thing I want you to remember is to be kind. I want you to repeat after me. Everyone say, be calm. Be calm. Now say, be kind. be kind. Be calm. Let's talk about that first. You don't have to get angry. People don't make you mad. And nobody pushes your buttons. You make yourself mad, you upset yourself, and you push your own buttons. The phrase, oh, they're just pushing my buttons, is a total lie. You study psychology, study anger management 101, and you're going to find out this truth. No one can control how you feel. There is no such thing as a remote control with a big red anger button on it that's attached to your brain. That someone can just pick up and push this anger button. Push, push, push. And it's attached to your brain and you're like, oh my God, I'm angry. Oh my God, someone's pushing my buttons. Who's doing that? Stop it. No one pushes your buttons. No one makes you angry. You process their hatred in such a way where you upset yourself. You anger yourself. The key to being calm is first realizing that don't let them upset you. Don't let their words or the rejection or the rumors hurt you. Don't let it. Because if you let it, then you lose and they win. But if you don't let it hurt you, if you don't let it make you cry or make you crazy, you win and they are losers. Grandma put it this way in a great old colloquialism. She said, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now, when some people hear that phrase, especially the common anti-bully experts, they say, Grandma was a liar. She didn't know what she was talking about. She was delusional. Haven't you read the statistics? Words kill. We have bully sides. Kids are killing themselves over words. No, no, no. no. Grandma wasn't delusional. She didn't think that, that, that words never hurt people. The cool thing about grandma, she's old. She's been around a long time and she's had a lot of life experiences. And I guarantee you, grandma has been hurt by other people's words. But at some point in her life, she made a decision. Well, sticks and stones will definitely break my bones. There's nothing I can do about that. But words, oh yeah. Words only have power that I give them. Words will never hurt me because I'll never let them hurt me. Does that make sense, guys? Grandma wasn't trying to lie to us. She was trying to equip us with a coping skill to be calm in the face of adversity. I like to quote that old phrase this way. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words don't have to hurt me. It's not just grandma that says this. Christina Aguilera. Yeah. She says it too. You know that blonde, lumpy chick? (laughs) She got so many curves. Here's a little song she wrote. I am beautiful, no matter what you say. Words won't bring me down, so don't you bring me down today. Thank you, appreciate it. Dude, that girl's smart because she knows She's not going to let anyone's hate bring you down. Be empowered today. You don't have to let it bury you alive. Like water off a duck's back. It could roll off your back. The hatred of others can literally bounce right off of you. Now I want you to say, be kind. kind. Now I'm going to tell you how to be kind. The cool thing about be kind is that you've got to understand the golden rule. 
The golden rule is the ancient, ancient solution to end bullying. The golden rule was antiquity's way of teaching us how to deal with seemingly difficult people. The old school version of, of defining the golden rule was this. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. A lot of young people don't even understand what that means. It sounds like it has double negatives or something. So they try to remix it a little bit, and they kind of redefine it this way. Treat other people the way you would want to be treated. Now, it's important to listen to that. Treat other people the way you would want to be treated, not the way they treat you. See, if you just treated people the way they treat you, remember, that's just a law of reciprocity. You're reciprocating whatever attitude they project in you. But the golden rule is treat them the way you want to be treated. Well, how do you want to be treated? If I asked anyone in this room, everyone would agree, I want to be treated like a friend. Not like an enemy, like a friend. So I like to remix the golden rule this way. The golden rule is treat everyone like friends. Isn't that a lot simpler? Treat everyone like friends. But it's actually not the complete definition of the golden rule. Let me tell you why. The golden rule was invented not to show us how to be nice to people who are nice to you. To you. How many of you agree by show of hands, it's super easy to be nice to someone who's nice to you? That's super cinchy, no big deal, right? People say, hey, how are you doing? You're like, I'm doing fine. They're like, hey, I really like your shirt. And you're like, thank you so much. <laughs> What's really difficult is to be nice to someone who's mean to you. You're a sorry sack of crap. Oh, I'm sorry you don't like me. I hope you have a nice day. <laughs> That's really difficult. How many of you agree? That's difficult to be nice to someone who's mean to you. Dude, thus the golden rule. The golden rule is so, so old. It's over 3,000 years old. It was invented to show us how to be nice to people who are seemingly difficult. So let me remix the golden rule in its true definition. Here it is. Listen closely. The golden rule can be defined this way. Treat everyone like friends. Even your enemies. Even your enemies. You say, well, Brooks, this is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I mean, they really hurt me. Remember, be calm. Don't let them hurt you or they win and you lose. Don't let their words hurt you. Don't let their rumors hurt you. Don't let their rejection hurt you. You say, all right, well, I think I can get that and be calm, but I don't think they deserve it to be kind. I can't be kind to them because what they did was they, they hurt me. They really wounded me. Well, you shouldn't have let it hurt you. There's always going to be haters in your life. And I double dog dare you to be kind because it'll throw you, it will throw them off their game. When you're kind to someone who's mean to you, it's really difficult for them to stay mean. It's, it's more difficult for them to stay mean to you while you're being nice to them. It's actually more difficult than you be nice to them while they're being mean. 